Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We're um we're making progress. I'm at level twelve, so we should I guess think about Gol uh, Golgotha. Um Is our toughness I wonder if our toughness is good enough to survive the fall. Yes, I am actually thinking of cheesing Golgotha. Um but I guess that would mean going to Ezra. And I don't necessarily want to do that. So, um, let me just double check here. Do we, is there anything we can take with long blade? Improved aggressive stance. What does that do? Your penetration bonuses in aggressive stance is increased to plus two, but your two hit penalty is increased to plus, uh, minus three. Uh, could be good. What does swipe do in aggressive stance? Make an attack against all adjacent opponents. Um, yeah, I mean, I might, I might look at that. I definitely, uh, uh, prefer dueling stance, I think. My hit, the hit, uh, two hit bonus is quite nice. But extra penetration is always good. Um, I, there was something I wanted. I guess tinkering one, but there was something else I wanted. Oh, um, I, I remember. It's trash divining. And if we're gonna go to Golgotha, then I guess we should have trash divining. But, um, before we do that, should I take another peek at the, our named location, our one named location? Notice some ruins nearby. Sure, let's take a, take a look. Take a look. See? 11th Adeltoid Tumas. What do we got? What do we got going on? And, ooh, we got a water wheel and a croc. croco lad. Um, we're in dueling stance right now. We'll go ahead and swipe them. Block, block, block. I like the little punk, punk, punk sounds uh, when you uh, block an attack. Is that a, a windmill? I don't know why I said it like that. A windmill? A windmill? I feel like there is an actual windmill over there. Ooh, wow. Oh my god. What is, what is this one? A oh, love injector. Oh my god, that's fantastic. That is a really good get. Hold on, I just need to shrink this a little bit. But this is a, a windmill. I don't know if I've seen one in Cud before. A bizarre contraption. Wooden wind turbine. Contains machinery enabling it to function as part of a mechanical transmission system producing mechanical power. There's a couple of them on this screen. I have never seen that before. Maybe I have? I don't know. It doesn't uh, ring a bell. Okay, I can't remember. Oh, right. I uh, bailed out of this because there were turrets. But, you know, um, we might be able to take this on now. Oh, we have a, a legendary. And they aren't... Um, they're loved by the pest of Kamesh Cabal. Disliked by the villagers of... Yeah, I mean, we can definitely um, kill this lad. I was a little bit worried that they would be friends to robots. We're going to save our swipe for the big lad. Um, for one damage with your lacquered steel sword, I was hoping that I would ha uh, disarm them. We'll shield slam them. Um, we're going to go ahead and sleepy gas. Actually, they're a robot. They're not affected by that, but they are definitely affected by a stunning force. Actually, let's see if we can include those turrets as well. Remain stunned. Yeah, I mean, this guy's pretty tough. I really didn't want to get in a quarrel with both of these lads. Yeah, because now I'm hobbled. Damaged. He's really tough. Um, we could tighten our carapace just to see what happens. You must... Oh, wait, that's the wrong button. Okay, so we're at AV13. Do we take hits from them still? Block, block. Yeah, we do. It's it's really not worth it if we're still taking hits. Um, we're going to go ahead and take some... Uh, I guess I don't have any Witchwood Bark. Do we have a Salve Injector? Yeah, we do.
the soothing tingle fades. What do you mean? Did we sleep? Why are they able to keep up with us so much? Like they they have like at every step been able to keep up. Um we're going to sprint. Wow, why are they so fast? Are, is there a yeah we died uh there's the the precognition was not gonna help us is there quickness like really slow or is that guy just really fast um i'm gonna try again luckily we found the the two mass ruins again but that that really sucked wow do we not get our love injector this time It looks like it looks like the best part of this uh, discovery is now lost to the end of time. Well, you can't say that uh, roleplay doesn't have any risk in it, because that was a really good find, and now it's gone. <laughs> that really sucks, and we're lost. Um. All right, Cud's in a mood. Stop getting lost. I'm not even out of the swamp yet. Christ. My goodness. I know I don't have wayward, but come on. I, I, I haven't even like left the tile. Uh, I'm lost again and now I'm lost in the canyons. I, I can't even take two steps without getting lost right now. Um, I'm still lost, so I'm roaming around in the canyons. Can't can't ask the dog for directions. Real cave of caves of cud sentence right there. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep roaming around until we find. Wait, we have a chameleon. Let's take them out. I I don't know. I I feel like this build is just really bad for a number of reasons. I just seem to take every single hit. I know our DV is awful. I understand that, so it makes sense. But we also don't seem to block a lot of hits, and when we get hit, we get hit really hard. Um, my quickness doesn't seem to be all that good. Apparently. It's just a lot of things going wrong with it. Okay, um... Sleepy gas. The, uh, the sound effect for sleepy gas really reminds me of, like, drinking in Minecraft. You'll never not be able to hear that now, I think. Is that a slug snout? I swear to god, really? Oh no, I think it was just a bloody boar. <laughs> you'll have to- you'll forgive me for- for confusing the two. Okay, um, we're still lost, so we need to keep going here. It's funny how boars are like some of the worst enemies in this game. Like, some of the most dangerous things in this game are boars. I guess that's true in real life as well. Wild boars are actually, like, ridiculously dangerous. Oh, we have a um, farm. Apple farm. Let's ask the farm where we are. We're no longer lost. Alright, we're out of here. Please do not get lost again. Thank you. Oh, we immediately take a lot of damage. I can at least kill cannibals. At least I can... Like, I can, here's the thing is I'm not going to go to Golgotha if I can't even reliably kill a cannibal without taking damage. So we're going to do Stunning Force to start. Um, that has a 35 turn cooldown. And we're going to hit them. I'm wondering. Damage with their manipulator. We are hitting them pretty well. I'm wondering if it wouldn't be worth uh, switching to an aggressive stance. So 
So I'm gonna do that. Cause they, I imagine they're pretty easy to hit. We're gonna slam them. I should have bought some witchwood bark while I was in Jopa. All right, we managed to kill them. We got some reputation with the villagers of Shane Kish and Mapengo. I don't want to get hobbled. Uh, I'm going to release some sleep gas. Uh, we got hobbled. He's, they're very quick about that. It's like the first thing that they do. Um, what kind of engraving do we have here? In 4119 BR, Zerdokt won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Daramish Castle of the Bloody Battle of Turvimapur. Turvimapur? Though he lost his prize, Rhythmic Kuka, the friend of swine. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of friend of swine. Well, that's um, scary. We also got some chain boots. I'm pretty sure we... What kind of things do we have for boots? Leather moccasin. So these would be a huge upgrade from what we had, which was nothing. I'm pretty sure leather moccasins are not even uh, one AV. No, they're not. So we just gained two AV. That's great. Um, we got some... Oh, we got a time dilation grenade. We got some weird contraption that's probably... Pump shotgun is actually a very interesting idea. Let's... What is this? Is this um, a heavy weapon? Bows and rifles. You don't have to... You don't have to have good accuracy when you have a shotgun. Um, yeah, let's equip that. And this is probably a solar powered cell. Electro bow. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's actually really good. Um, if we had any kind of agility, I would consider it, but uh, it's it's just probably not worth it. I mean, it's, it is worth it. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I kind of want to try and make the shotgun work. I can only select visible squares. I just want to get rid of these turrets. They've been a they've been a plague to me. Uh, we're gonna switch back to dueling stance. I do actually have some ammo. You have no more ammo for the pump. Oh, that's right. We need uh, we don't we can't use slugs. We have to have like shotgun ammo. All right, we're going to try and swipe this turret. I'm going to try and swipe turrets from now on so that I can uh, potentially get some more stuff from them. Human corpse, vine wafer. <sighs> really? Oh, that's so frustrating. That is so frustrating. God, I hate... When did we... Oh, I thought that was a uh, folded carbide. Did, did we, we walk by a kudzu and it, it rusts our, our carbide. So now we don't have a weapon and now we have to leave. Or, like, pick up something worse. Because, like, I, I, I need to... Oh, I did manage to disarm that turret. Nice. Oh, cool. Um, I, I need to go get some fix-it spray, spray gel now. Lacquered steel longsword. I mean, we can use that for a little bit. It's not much worse. And at least we know it won't get rusted. But god damn, kudzu sucks so much. We have more Naphtali. Um, can I knock their hand out of their... Or their weapon out of their hand? Yeah, drops the iron dagger. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and wait. We're very close to leveling up. This will probably do it right here. Uh, you swipe your blade at the musket turret. I'm just trying to like. I, I like to see um, when I when I knock the, the weapon out of their out, out of their hand. Their quotation marks hand.
We don't have swipe. I, I, I pressed the swipe button, but we don't have it nearly that quickly. Okay, that's fine. Swipe. Okay, that's pretty much the top floor of this dungeon done. Uh, I could do more. I'm not sure if I should, though. It's a little bit dicey. I really need to turn off that, like, don't pay no mind to uh, easy characters. Let's go ahead and do it. I'll put a I'll put a precognition at the very like first tile. Oh, good lord! Ancient idol of Mozo and a member of the pest of Kab Kamish Kabal, loved by the pest of Kamish Kabal, hated by the villagers of Ezra. Disliked by the pest, disliked by the pest of Kamish Cabal, and hated by Kragmensch. What is this? He has engraved scaled chainmail, which would be, um, uh, again, amazing armor had we not taken Carapace. Our uh, arch dervish of the sightless way, disguise. Oh, he's got a, he's got a disguise. It's an idol. It's just a normal, one of those like pink dudes. Uh, sorry, not, not pink, you know, like the big robots. Okay, so uh, that's actually not a big deal at all. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stunning force that room and hopefully like cut down the numbers a little bit here. I'm also going to uh, release sleepy gas. What's shooting me? Oh, blow gunner. Uh, and I have no ammo, right? Okay. Okay, he is opted to step inside my poot zone here, my poot zone. Um, they drops their engraved painted steel vine reaper. So this is very good. Um, we aren't able to penetrate them too much, so we're going to switch to an aggressive stance. And do some more pen. So this is me actually trying to learn how to use longbow, uh, long swords properly. And I think we're doing an okay job. We're blocking pretty well right now. Oh, there's another idol. Uh, loved by the pest, disliked by trolls. These guys have very good reputation for, um, you know, making them good candidates to kill. I would love to swipe. Is this guy still got something equipped? No, the luckily the AI isn't good enough where they they pick up their weapon again So once you've disarmed them, they're pretty much done. So now this guy's just like punching me Wait, did he run away? How did he do that? This is a lot of stuff to fight right now not too worried about it, but like I have a, a pretty good zone in here. Something is fighting them in there. I'm a little bit worried they haven't, they seem to have an alternate way of getting in here. Did he pick up his weapon again? No, he didn't. Um, we'll go ahead and sleep gas again, just to fill this room with sleepy gas. Oh, did he? He must have picked something up now. No, he's just like punching me really hard. Um. Good lord, look at all the stuff on the ground right now. Okay, let's do a stunning force. Oh, I guess stunning force um, pushes people around, hence why he got shoved. I'd really like to kill just this one idol. Oh my god. And now I don't have the gas. Um, time to do a precognition start. We'll do a swipe. We're in aggressive stance, so it'll do an attack to all uh, tiles around me. Which is nice. Just 
just do a little bit of crowd control right now. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind doing uh, using a salve, but last time it didn't seem to do very much. Maybe I got like knocked out when I used it. We don't have anything off cooldown right now. We are in aggressive stance, which is good. Um, I'm going to switch to dueling stance and swipe. Hopefully we get that knife out of their hand, but either way we killed them. We'll switch back to aggressive stance, try and do some more damage. This guy's only lightly damaged right now. Um, I'll do my sleep gas, but I really don't think it's going to make a difference because this guy's a robot. Return to the start of your vision? No, we're good. Um, I am actually pretty cool with what's going on right now. We're going to knock them on their ground on the ground. We're going to stunning force them. Swipe. Oh, I guess uh, we should have sw swapped to something different. They're damaged. This guy's a lot tougher than uh, he has any right to be. What is um? What is the defensive stance? Swipe. Push all adjacent creatures back one space and attempt to trip opponents. Okay, I mean that's kind of neat. Uh, I'm actually going to improve our aggressive stance. I think it's not a bad idea. We'll get some better pen. And hopefully do some more damage with that. Badly damaged, finally. Oh my god, they took a lot of blows. We got some Kragmensch uh, reputation, which is really nice. There's really, like, nothing on the ground that we care about right now. But there's a bunch of stuff downstairs. I definitely want to go downstairs and grab some stuff. These guys are all asleep. Yeah, they hobbled us. That's fine. Uh, I don't like what's going on right now. I'm going to go ahead and stunning force them all back a bit and then get on that staircase. You're famished. Okay, that's that's a problem. That's going to that's going to cause us problems. Because that's uh, a pretty major debuff. If you're famished, that's that's really going to hamper your ability. Okay, sleepy gas. Uh, we're in aggressive stance, so let's do a swipe. And shield slam. This guy's got a good reputation for killing, right? Disliked by trolls and chava. The tree of life. Yeah, we're we're cool with um, making friends with those people. I don't care about the cult. I almost I, I never care about the cult. Okay, they're doing some pretty nasty damage, but we're very close to killing them. There we go. Trolls is increased by ninety. That, um, sleepy gas is really, really making itself worthwhile. Chainmail, engraved, painted, this is a lot of lore we're about to get here. Oh, Resha floor and Ushir. Starry night, evening in Echabad, Echabapad, a healthy child was born to the Sultan at Tekesh. At the moment of his birth, snow fell everywhere, and in celebration, the people cried out in joy. The babe was named Ushir, but the people called him the Great Block of Ice. Pretty cool, actually. Iron Dagger, we'll grab that. Um, the rest of this... Well, I guess we'll grab the Jewel Encrusted Club. It's probably not worth it, but it is Jewel Encrusted. 
I don't think there's really anything here worth grabbing. There's a couple of daggers. There's an iron dagger where we are. I love this menu in the top right. It really helps a lot to um, parse out what's what's on the ground. We got more Reshef lore. Uh, no, we didn't actually. That We'd already gotten that lore, unfortunately. We're gonna rest uh, for a moment. We are pretty pretty hurt. I definitely heard another turret somewhere. Apparently, it's around this corner. No, I I guess I didn't see it. Oh God, another idol, huh? Disliked by crabs, admired by pariahs. That kind of sucks. Um, pariah rep is quite nice. Disliked by mysterious strangers. I really do like getting crab rep. It's some of my favorite rep. But um I'm going to I'm going to make peace with this. Actually, let's um swap to dueling and swipe whatever they're holding out of their hand. Yes. We managed to uh swipe their their lacquered steel sword out or no. Yeah, they did, they actually did have a, a lacquered steel sword. And then we'll swap back to aggressive stance. And we... Oh! They apparently had the ability to teleport. Um, I'm wondering why we're not doing a lot of damage right now. Shield slam. Probably because we don't have sleepy gas in our vicinity. Let's uh, change that. Even just having a wall and some sleepy gas is enough that I can actually rest for like a majority of our health back because they are they're not willing to like turn the corner if there's there's gas around. So unfortunately, um, when I see that idol again, they're going to be at full health again. What do we got on the ground? Anything good? Nope. We got some books. You see a cannibal and member of the... Oh, God. Okay. We'll stop auto-exploring then. <laughs> if you're not going to pick up books, then why are you auto-exploring? There's, uh, there's good XP here, at the very least. We still have a, a legendary idol on this screen. Somewhere. It does show us, like, where they went. Ooh, that's a dicey screen. I'm gonna switch to Dueling Stance. See if we can get some extra bits and bobs here. And I'm just going to keep doing that. Oh, I didn't expect to see a centipede, honestly. We are doing a bit more damage and we are taking less damage, so that those are those are good signs. If you're wondering why I'm like coming back out and deking back in, it's just so that I can wait for the uh, recovery of my um, swipe so I can try and, and get some more stuff. That is like one of the best things about the, the, um, the long blade is like getting all of this extra stuff. Treat these as scrap, disassemble. We're getting lots of extra bits for doing that. I'll, I'll probably get bored of it eventually, but like, you know, um, it's, it's going to be valid later on. Does this guy still have a weapon? He's got a uh, painted weird artifact. I'm not sure if that means it's a weapon or not, but like later on when we go and do some ruin diving and we're fighting like laser turrets and stuff, it'll make a big difference. I'm going to slam them. 
And I'm trying to be a bit more methodical about where I do stunning force so that they get pu pushed into me so I can actually take advantage of the fact that they're stunned. We're going to switch to aggressive stance and go to town. Slightly damaged. They teleported again. What a jerk. This guy might not be might not be feasible. I might not be able to take advantage of this guy. My goodness, that's a lot of turrets. Just gonna oh, cannibal died to a turret. We could do a stunning force. The nice thing about the stunning force is again it, it'll knock them towards me. I'll just I'm just gonna keep doing this Also, it buys me like a turn This is a pretty good dungeon so far and it's actually doing a good job of like giving me like the time and and uh, ability to like um, Hone my skills somewhat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do some damage to him. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, and then I was going to do a stunning force. The thing is, he doesn't get to do that all that often. Right? Like, what? Why is he able to do that so often? <laughs> He's He should know. Like, I thought teleport had a really hefty cooldown. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I'm leaving that floor. That that guy is starting to cheese me off. We have a copper nugget there. Nothing much. Is that an eater's? Yeah, implanted eater. So we've got a nook on the screen. Okay, we're going to do the shale instead. I always forget that statues actually have a higher armor uh, value. Then, uh, oh my god. Then, uh, Shale. Shale is like the weakest, like, objects in the game, I think. Dueling stance. Um, Arcanaut is actually helping me quite a bit here. They're probably gonna die. I, I do want to try and get some more bits. Wow, they didn't die. Also, these, um, turrets are hitting each other. I wonder if these turrets are, like, part of the cult. They probably are. Uh, musket turret. Doesn't seem like it. What is that statue? That's kind of cool. Shrine to Ushir. Icicle dancer. Deep in the wilds of Echabad. Echabapad. Ushir stumbled upon a clan of mysterious strangers performing a secret ritual. Because of his colossal visage, they furiously rebuked him and declared him a villain to their kind. We're on good terms with this Naphtali. Why would that be? Hired guard. Um. So that is a urchin and it's an urchin of drowsing of of sleep gas nice thing about having uh, our own sleepy gas is it does actually make us immune to other sleepy gas it doesn't make us immune to sleeping but i'm not sure how sleeping can occur if um not from sleepy gas So we do have a centipede nest somewhere in here, for sure. There it is. Dueling stance, knock... Yeah, we got the musket. Cool. Get some books. This is going very well right now. Oh, there's a moth. We're, we're backing out now. I just had to open my goddamn mouth. <laughs> I, I don't think we can't like we can you know do this I just like it's scary just gonna wait to get swiped back 
Oh god, that hurts a bit. Do you have anything cool? You have some bandages. Could really use some meds. What is that? That's something a bit spicier. Rifle turret and member of the pest of Kamish Cabal. I guess they are members of the cult. Really wish I had some shotgun shells. You have some shotgun shells? No, you don't. Well, the nice thing about that room is it's kind of um, hampered. Like they can't really get out. Is that? Wait a minute. Oh, the moth isn't uh, aggressive to me. They're they're a hired guard for the scribe. So we're gonna see if we can't get rid of this turret here. And that electrofuge is actually, um, so you're gonna have to forgive me for just waiting in front of a, a turret so I can get the musket. Yeah, the, the electrofuge is also, um, a hired guard. So these guys are only gonna be aggressive to me. A gunsmith! Ha! Uh -huh. You fancy come- oh, you don't have any shotgun shells. Wow, that's really bad. I was thinking, no, oh, that's such for, that's such fortuitous timing, but no, actually, it's um, really not going to make a difference if you don't have shotgun shells. Uh, ouch! That room is a big ouchy. These guys are kind of like wandering around. Makes me a little bit nervous. For one thing, I'm pretty sure that. Musket turret. Oh, right. Like, if the scribe dies, that wouldn't be good for business. Namely, his business. We got a weird art. Oh, this is um, the cybernetic. Pneumatic pistons. Well, we're very close to ending the episode here, but I'm also very close to the bottom of this. Look at all of this mess. Famished. Okay, let's go upstairs and uh, have a bite to eat. Plus one intelligence for the rest of the day. That's really nice. What kind of gas is that? Fungicide. Okay, we're gonna do a sleepy gas. Actually, that doesn't matter at all, does it? Honestly, this is my favorite kind of uh, floor because it's full of robots that are easy to kill. What kind of gas is this? Hard to tell. Oh, stunning gas. Now that's a little bit more dangerous. I'd say a lot more, actually. Musket. Um, I don't know why we're not disassembling that. Now this... Defoliant grenade, we're going to disarm. I think I failed. You disassemble the musket. The defoliant mine mark one explodes. We're still in dueling stance. Swipe. I'm just going to do the one swipe. They're just muskets. So I really don't think it's worth like waiting for swipe and it's also not a guarantee that i get the musket so okay there's more turrets over here wow lots more turrets i'm very glad that the they're uh, these are just musket turrets and not like chain guns um is this like the last floor Liminal floor. So is this just like ba just a This I think this is the last floor I don't have to skip that you know what was above us, but uh, we're gonna switch to aggressive stance and do a swipe we Leveled up your genome enters an excited state. Would you like to spend four mutation points to buy a mutation? No, and we're gonna go ahead and put it on multiple arms again Um, let's do Sleepy Gas and Stunning Force.
Okay, things are are starting to uh oh, what was that? Poison gas. Now that's bad. Okay, we need to swap to dueling stance. And what is this guy holding? A folded carbide longsword. Now there's an upgrade. I would love to get that out of their hand. Uh, you disarm them. Fantastic. Where is that? Where is it on the ground? Wait, it said I disarmed them, but I, they're still holding a folded carbide longsword. I'm going to shield slam them. This is a really bad place to be. I'm going to go ahead and set down my precognition. And I'm actually going to take a couple damage just to get out of that room. Also, um... Okay, we're in dueling sense. I want to take every opportunity to try and swipe them. It says I disarmed them. Okay, so they, there's a carbide longsword somewhere. It's I think they're standing on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lure them. Oh, you know what? They won't come here. Okay, they will come here. Return to the state of your vision? No. I'm going to try and lure them away. Walk around them and then pick up the carbide longsword. They're, they're being really crafty, actually. I'm also going to switch to aggressive stance. Let's just do a rest. Yeah. Okay. So now I've, I've deked around them. Uh-oh. Member of the Pesh come Oh, they're hostile. Oh, no. Oh, that's actually really bad. Gnu are, are tough. I'm equipping the folded carbide. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to stunning force. I was really hoping that would knock the idol away from me so I can... Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to switch to defensive stance and swipe. Cool. That actually saved my life, maybe. And the sleepy gas. Here, have an extra dose. Have an extra dose and I'm just going to hang out over here and rest. How did they get here? What? Okay, can we trip them? I was I tried to trip them. I try I'm trying things here. Okay, we're going to switch to aggressive stance and I'm going to try and just hit them. Injured. That was a good. Oh, perfect. 150 damage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rest. We're at full health. Amazing. Okay, we and we've got we got ourselves a folded carbide longsword. Now we just have to deal with this goon. Um, swipe. Actually, I never checked their dislike by swine and curse of. Yeah, we can we can totally kill this lad and I don't think that they really have anything they can do like they are doing damage but we're gonna win the long game here this is becoming another long episode I, I really try and like um, accomplish something in these episodes so if it becomes 40 minutes it's really not um, my intention it just kind of happens that way all right, why don't we actually break it here? Um, it really sucks. I would love to um, show off whatever named item I get at the base of this, but um, it can't it can't happen that way sometimes. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.